So this is how you do a top-down raglan sweater and I'm showing you all of the boring steps that I didn't show you last time but um, <clears throat> it's a pretty boring process. I have a pretty boring life but this is just it was an insane week so I'm just going to tell you what happened while I was trying to finish the sweater and hopefully it's a little bit more entertaining than just watching me knit. So the first thing that happened is that I cast on for the sweater and of course um, because I just sort of do these patterns by my head I just um, cast on some number of stitches that would fit uh, over the head of my son and then I started uh, working down and I divided for the sleeves and all of that and did the raglan increases and if you want to see how to do that I have a video on that and there are patterns you don't have to do these um, just out of your head that's just how I prefer to do it when I'm just sort of knitting so what ended up happening was that I um, put too many sleeves in the back and too few in the front so it's sort of crooked but it actually turned out okay because this pattern is super beginner friendly or this uh, not pattern this way of making a sweater um, is in my opinion the best way if you're a beginner because it's just there is no way to to mess this up you can do this I'm sure it's really I have never had any uh, problems with this and even when I um, do a wrong number of stitches it works out anyway so anyway I cast on and then I started working on it and I don't know if you notice but sometimes in my videos there's a little bit of noise and it's the furnace it's right here so um, our furnace is of course what keeps us warm and toasty in this uh, very very cold long winter it has seriously been it's March now and it's still snowing um, and every time the snow goes away we say to each other oh now, now spring is coming it's going to be um, not warm because it's Denmark but it's going to be warmer it's going to be sunnier it's going to be all of those things and it's just not true the, the snow just keeps coming back it just snows goes away in a few days back to snow and, and <laughs> so it's cold and our furnace of course dies when it is when it is the coldest because that is my life <laughs> at the moment normally I have a pretty boring life but yeah this was not boring and I miss I really miss boring so <clears throat> anyway the furnace <clears throat> stopped working so we just had it cleaned and we were pretty sure that it wasn't because there was skunk in the machinery it's 30 years old almost 30 not 3 I might be <clears throat> I'm a little sick <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that but he and my dad took a look at it and um, my me and, and the, um, the baby spent a few days with my parents <clears throat> at their house it's pretty far um, and they somehow got the furnace working by cleaning some parts um, which is a problem because now I uh, I don't trust my furnace it might break down at any point I feel I don't trust the guy who cleans the furnace because obviously he did not do a very good job and it's just ugh, it's ugh. so and the house is pretty new <clears throat> or not the house is not new but we just bought the house and the furnace was here <clears throat> so we have no idea if this is normal either so we decided to buy a new furnace which is a crazy expense I mean we just bought a house we just got a son we just bought a car and now we, we bought a furnace too which is a little earlier than we had expected um, but it was pretty fun to be sitting here in the cold knitting a warm sweater <laughs> and feeling like this is not going to be enough um, and we, we joked about like um, insulating the house with all my yarn um, which I think we came a little closer to doing that than maybe so uh, both of us really really wanted um, but yeah that didn't happen thankfully so I still have all of my yarn so I divided for the sleeves <laughs> um, so put all of those stitches on yarn and did the body and I think I finished that while we were at my parents and my mom actually started um, she started working a top-down sweater too and I think I may have influenced her she saw me start it and she was like what what are you doing it's, it's the wrong like that's not big enough because in her generation apparently knitting a sweater you do that from the bottom up which is a little funny because I have not actually done one of those ever where you you uh, take it up to here and then the sleeves up to here and then you knit the yoke um, so it's basically the, the exact opposite of doing a top down um, I've never done that so now I'm curious I want to do a a bottom up one at some point that my mom actually started a, a top down one it's spreading it's spreading and it's good because this is as I said this is the, the, the easiest way to do a sweater so I am um, I got to knit most of the the sleeve and cast off um, for the first sleeve without much happening which I was very thankful for we had a bit of snow and I mean 
we're used to it now. Just wanted the sun to come out at some point, but I got to finish the one sleeve. Then I picked up the, um, the stitches for the other sleeve, so now we are over here. And I knit most of that uh, without anything happening, which was awesome. <laughs> um, and it was like the universe had forgiven me and then wanted me to finish this sweater without any more interruptions. But then we went grocery shopping and on the way back, I look at my husband and I go, oh, can you just pull him to the side here? He does, and then he hits the curb <laughs> with the, the tire, and it, it it makes a big rip in the tire. So of course now we're sitting, and it's like 15 kilometers from here. That's the furnace. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear that. I always try to remove it in post, but we have a flat tire, and it's about 15 kilometers from here. And we lo we left early because my son has a bedtime. <clears throat> and we want to keep him on, on a, a schedule because now he started sleeping through the night. He's 11 months old and that is just like godsend. Like when you have children and they don't sleep, it's it's very, very stressful. Um, so we wanted to do everything we could to have him in bed um, at the same time. Um, so now we're there and it's about um, an hour till he has to be sleeping for this to sort of work and also we have a flat tire i mean it's ah so we get a guy to come and tow the car because of course we have insurance but i mean you you have insurance hoping that you won't use it right it still sucks to have to use it my uh, my husband's um, cousin came and got me and the uh, baby uh, the, the people uh, towing the car were like oh yeah i will come get you and, and then my husband's like um we are three people in the car me my my wife and our son and they're like you, there's more than one, but like that never happens to them. I mean, what? But <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> we were driven home um, by a fam by a family member, um, which was awesome, and he got to bed uh, only about fifteen minutes late, so that was a success. And then I could go and finish knitting this sweater that I've been trying to knit all of this time. That life has just kept throwing stuff at me, and now I am finished. <laughs> and and the only thing that didn't happen was this video on a Friday, um, so I hope that is okay with you. The takeaway here for me, at least, is that this pattern or this uh, method of knitting a sweater, I know that for a lot of people it's very, uh, it's a very big project to knit a sweater and it's very, very intimidating. Um, but seriously, knitting top down, and I'm pretty sure that the bottom up is going to be the same way. It seems more difficult to me because I've never done it, but anyway, knitting a sweater top down is so easy <laughs> and so intuitive than even if you divide the stitches wrong, which I did, even when your furnace breaks down and you have the beast from the east and it's crazy cold, um, because that's how high we are, um, that we have the uh, Siberian wind, I think they called it too. Um, and even when your car breaks down and you have a, a flat tire, the sweater will still turn out okay and um, the wearer can still actually fit into it because you've been trying it on uh, while you've been knitting it. So. I hope life goes back to being a bit more boring now and um, I hope that it was <clears throat> at least informative for you to see how this sweater was knit. Have a great week and I'll see you on Friday, hopefully.